Here we are again with more BC Calculus. This is problem number 23 from section 8.3. So we're sketching a polar region described by this integral expression for area. So we have 1 half the integral from 0 to pi over 3 sine squared 3 theta d theta. So we know that the integral expression for area is generally 1 half the integral from a to b or whatever those things are of r squared theta d theta so this then must be r squared so we know that r must equal sine of 3 theta so first we could start by making a table to list some important points which I happen to have so here are some of the most important points for the graph that we'll be making. So we can see we have from um, we can we have theta values from zero to pi. And then we just have to plot those on our polar graph paper. So now we will plot these points on the graph paper. And we have lots of pi's over or root twos over two. So that root two over 2 is approximately equal to 0.707, just so we know that. And I have labeled like r equals 1 on the axis. So we start out at 0 equals 0. Then we go to pi over 12, um, and r equals root 2 over 2, so about 0.707. Then pi, at pi over 6, r equals 1. And at pi over 4, r equals root 2 over 2. So now we go back to 0 at pi over 3, so we already have a point that's there, so we can just leave that alone. And then at 5 pi over 12, r equals negative root 2 over 2, so that means we go backwards. So we have 5 pi over 12, and we go backwards this way, across to here. And then at pi over 2, r equals negative 1. So then at 7 pi over 12, we have negative root 2 over 2. So we go from here over to here. And then we go back to 0 again, and then we go to 3 pi over 4 and root 2 over 2. And 5 pi over 6 is 1. And 11 pi over 12 is root 2 over 2. So now we can start tracing along the graph. So we have three nice petals to trace. And then it wants us to shade from 0 to pi over 3. For, so the values we have from 0 to pi over 3 are these values, which were our first petal. So we shade here. And then you're done.